pigeon, we have the beak as the modi modified form of the mouth. So mainly this beak. is used for picking up of food. Okay. They also have a tongue but it would not have any uh, significant function in the digestion process unlike in mammals or in humans. Okay, so uh, the function of the tongue is actually quite unknown. Parang medyo vestigial na nga din sabi ng ibang books. Okay, so in any case... Shark ay ganun din ma'am. Sa shark. Okay, so may tongue yan sa loob. Afterward, so buccal cavity and then the, the food would pass through the esophagus. Itong muscular cylindrical structure behind the trachea. This is the trachea. This is the esophagus. So the esophagus would continue downwards and then whatever food that is uh, accumulated okay, will be temporarily stored in the crop. Okay, undigested pa to, ha? Next, the digestion would actually take place inside the abdominal area. So in this case, so the food would then be passed through the proventriculus. Muscular ang proventriculus, ha? Next. After the proventriculus, the food will be grind in, uh, okay, in the gizzard. <laughs> Tingnan nyo, matigas siya. Okay? Medyo mahirap siyang i-pierce, actually. The gizzard is equivalent to the pyloric area of the stomach. After the gizzard, we have the the one okay, that would curve and enclose your uh, pancreas. Okay, pancreas duodenum. Afterwards, the duodenum would continue as your jejunum. The jejunum is a highly coiled region of the small intestine. So all of these are jejunum. Afterwards, the jejunum would transfer the digested materials on the ileum. And the ileum would now terminate at the region of the colic sica. These are two paired blind ended pouches on the sides of the terminal portion of ileum. Okay? Next, after the colic sica, we have now the colic sica, yes. We, have, we now have the colon and finally the rectum.